Well, there was a couple in the UK that were looking for a vacation vehicle when they found this, and they just had to buy it. It's a used hearse that someone had converted into a camper. <laughs> now, they've already taken it on a road trip through Scotland, probably singing, if a body meet the body or the way. <laughs> and they're just dying to take another trip in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why not? And they even gave its own Instagram account under the name The Grim Sleeper. <laughs> How you like wow. that? I love that. You know, they say that a hearse makes a great camper if you can just get past thinking about it and all the previous passengers. Yeah, that yeah. would be tough. By the way, it even has a built-in mattress. It's so comfy, you could rest for eternity on it. Oh, there's, a, there's an advertisement. I right think there. so. And it's in great shape, even though the warranty has expired. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Well, I keep, maybe could keep doing jokes like this all night, but why beat a dead hearse? <laughs> oh! Help me, help I, me. Keith, I knew that joke would kill. <laughs> I knew it would. Let's move on. Why not? Uh, now, this next story will really get your goat. There's a British writer named Thomas Thwaites. I got to learn to make that, that sound. Thwaites. That's Thwaites. very British, isn't it? Yes. Thomas Thwaites. He needed the vacation from the stresses of civilization. Well, we can all relate to that, except he put on prosthetic goat legs and spent three days living as a goat with all the real goats on a farm in the Alps. Oh, no. Why? He really goat? did this. He did, I don't know why. Let's hear your goat. Have you got a goat sound effect? <laughs> I don't know. I oh. don't, that's a sheep. He's that's actually, him. he's written a book, and it's called Goat Man, <laughs> How I Took a Holiday from Being a Human. I think he's still on holiday for that. Wow. I think he's been on holiday for, <laughs> yeah, for a long time. <laughs> now, you may say, bah, but he felt like a kid again. Oh. Well, you hey, are look, a roll tonight. Man, I'm milking this for all it's worth. I'll tell you that. <laughs> The Waits called it a special kind of time, and he said that he would recommend being a goat. Although, the other goat said he struck them as kind of a butthead. Oh. New low. It's new about the goat. It's, that you, may get edited out. Show. Very well may. <laughs> I may get edited out. One of you may have to host the show next week. Personally, I don't know how you'd go about becoming a goat, but if you want to be a sheep, it's real easy. Just watch CNN. Oh. oh. Finally, our viral photo of the week. Wendy Armstrong of Workington, England, took her baby daughter, Daisy, to an aquarium and snapped this amazing photo. Not only did a stingray photobomb her by honing into the picture, it also perfectly imitated Daisy's miserable expression. I think they were both carping about being there. Carping. But the good thing is, think about that. I'm just glad the mom didn't flounder taking that picture. And I wow. wonder if the stingray photobombed that baby on poipus. Oh. Hey, I guess I've stung you with enough bad puns, so we're going to end it right there. But remember that we read the news. So you don't have to. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not, after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.